An unlikely new partnership on an important mission could be the key to humanity mastering the art of spaceflight. SpaceX and Apple. Yes, that Apple. If you're wondering what the biggest tech company in the world has to offer the biggest space company in the world, the answer is right in front of you, their tech. SpaceX is set to fly a four-person all-civilian crew into orbit on a three-day mission called Inspiration4, and Apple hardware will be super important in the research studies happening during the mission. SpaceX confirmed that the products to be used include the Apple Watch Series 6, the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPad Mini 4. The health-focused research will be the first of its kind and aims to increase humanity's knowledge of the impact of spaceflight on the human body. Once in orbit, the crew will perform a variety of carefully selected research experiments on human health health and performance, which will have potential applications for human health on Earth and during future space flights. On top of that, SpaceX, the Translational Research Institute for Space Health or TRISH at Baylor College of Medicine, and investigators at Weill Cornell Medicine will collect environmental and biomedical data and biological samples from Inspiration4's crew members before, during, and after this monumental space flight. So how do they plan on collecting all this data? That's where Apple comes in. According to Jimmy Wu, a senior biomedical engineer at Trish and instructor for the Center for Space Medicine at Baylor College, the projects on Inspiration4 are pretty Apple-heavy. He also said that it's great since the product speaks for itself. SpaceX claims that during the mission, Apple Watch will gather research-grade ECG action, development, rest, pulse and beat, blood oxygen saturation, cabin noise, and light intensity. Readings are also expected to be collected from the SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle that'll be used. The crew members will also go through cognitive evaluations with the Cognition app on iPad Mini, a software that's used by NASA-funded research studies. So what about the iPhones? Apple's iPhone 12 Pro is being paired with the Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound device to scan the crew's internal organs. The evaluation will help determine whether people with no medical training or experience can use Butterfly IQ Plus's artificial intelligence guidance, which is presented through an accompanying app, to acquire clinical-grade images without assistance from the ground. Other tests, which we'll take a look at shortly, include the collection and examination of drops of blood using a vertical flow immunoassay VFI device, balance and perception evaluations, and biomedical sample collections. As you can see, the Inspiration4 mission isn't a space retreat for iPhone products. Far from it, actually. Inspiration4 could be what makes our upcoming journey to Mars possible. So let's take a look at some of the data that Apple's devices will be collecting and why we need that data in the first place. First up, neurocognitive performance. Going to space is a stressful experience for the human body, but it's just as stressful on the mind as well. Increased stress can affect crew behavior and performance. Dr. Matthias Basner and his team at the University of Pennsylvania have developed a battery of cognitive tests for astronauts which they'll use to assess Inspiration4's crew performance on a broad range of cognitive domains. Researchers will then analyze the cognitive test results alongside health vitals collected from an Apple Watch and environmental data collected from the Crew Dragon. The cognitive and psychological data will improve understanding of how ordinary individuals in the general population will behave and perform in space travel. The results will be super relevant, especially since commercial space travel is becoming more and more popular by the day. During space flights, bodily fluids move differently inside the human body, and astronauts are more susceptible to certain medical conditions. Medical imaging can be used to monitor and track these changes. Ultrasound is NASA's preferred medical imaging method for tracking the health of astronauts on the International Space Station, as well as for future deep space exploration missions to Mars. As we mentioned before, the crew on the Inspiration4 will use Apple iPhone 12s fitted with a Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound device to study differences in structure and fluid movement in the neck veins, eyes, the gallbladder, and the urinary bladder. The study will also be evaluating how effectively Butterfly IQ Plus's user-friendly interface and AI technology will enable minimally trained passengers to acquire high-quality ultrasound images, which are considered hard to get and are usually collected by ultrasound technicians. If the research experiment is successful and Butterfly IQ Plus gets validated, it could become an important diagnostic tool for medical systems on future deep space missions. Just don't forget to bring your iPhone with you on your future trip to the moon. You might need it for a medical emergency. Dr. Mark Shellhammer from John Hopkins University School of Medicine has a research project on Inspiration4 as well, investigating readaptation to gravity after spaceflight, or sensory motor testing if you want to get technical with it. In zero gravity, astronauts lose their sense of up and down. 
This neurovestibular concern could cause motion sickness, nausea, and other disorienting effects. Dr. Shellhammer will study how passengers sense up and down on Earth versus in space and how they use that information to control eye position and posture. The results might allow prediction of who will get motion sickness in spaceflight and enable the taking of precautionary measures. The sensory motor tests will be easily accessed through the iPad provided to every crew member. If Dr. Shellhammer's efforts are successful, they could help prevent or minimize the effects of motion sickness and disorientation, thus massively improving the spaceflight experience. SpaceX will be collaborating with investigators at Wild Cornell Medicine to perform a longitudinal multi-omic analysis of the crew, including genome, epigenome, and microbiome. These samples and data will be added to the planned biobank that will hold cryogenically frozen samples and data from the Inspiration4 mission. Investigators at Wild Cornell Medicine have worked closely with SpaceX's medical team on the Inspiration4 sample collection and aim to replicate many of the same protocols and experiments that were pioneered in the NASA twin study and the biomolecular sequencer missions. The planned biobank bank will hold samples of the human, microbial, and environmental specimens that are collected before, during, and after missions, which will enable long-term research and health monitoring for astronauts. Now that you know why SpaceX needs an iPhone and an iPad for a mission in space, let's go over a few general mission details about Inspiration4 that you might have missed. The mission's main goal is to raise awareness and funds for St. Jude Children's Hospital, which is dedicated to treating the toughest childhood cancers and pediatric diseases. That, alongside the four civilian making their first trips to space was the inspiration behind the mission's name, Inspiration4. Inspiration4 will leave Earth from NASA's Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39A, which was the same launch site for the historic Apollo and Space Shuttle missions. Inspiration4 will then travel across low Earth orbit for three days before returning to Earth. The three-day mission, slated for launch on September 15th, will target approximately a 357-mile orbit. So what about the crew? Who are these four brave individuals on their maiden trip away from Earth? The SpaceX Crew Dragon flight was chartered by the billionaire Jared Isaacman. You may be asking yourself who this Jared guy is and why you've never heard of him until just now. Jared Isaacman, like Elon Musk, is, to put it very simply, a phenom. Jared is a high school dropout who founded his first company, Shift for Payments, from his parents' basement when he was a teenager. His company, Shift4, is a PayPal-type operation that now processes over $200 billion a year for U.S. restaurants and hotels. Inspiration4 commander and benefactor Jared Isaacman will be joined by Haley Arsenault, a St. Jude physician's assistant and bone cancer survivor. Haley was a patient at St. Jude's herself before proceeding to work there. Another member of the crew is Chris Simbroski, who served in the U.S. Air Force and now works in the aerospace industry. And last but not least is Dr. Sean Proctor, an analog astronaut and geoscientist. As Inspiration4 prepares for liftoff, a new documentary series on the mission is already out. In the new Netflix docuseries Countdown Inspiration4 Mission to Space, viewers can follow the four-person crew of the Inspiration4 mission as they prepare to launch into space in real time. The four-episode series, co-produced by Time Studios, has followed the crew throughout their journey and will show their real-time transformation from regular people into full-blown astronauts as they prepare to launch on September 15th. Let's hope this crew can complete their experiments successfully. For the kids at St. Jude's, for SpaceX and all the parties involved, and for the betterment of the human race. Let's also hope that they remember to charge their devices, because we all know how much it sucks to get that low battery notification. Will Apple become the new king of space tech? When do you think SpaceX will be sending regular people to space routinely? Let us know all this and more down in the comments section below.